YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. I'm cooking beans tonight. It's part of my diet as a vegetarian, and it's also part of a lot of people's uh, perspective post-SHTF diet. You know, people say the beans, the bullets, the bread, butter, bread, I forget what the other one, but everything you need post-SHTF begins with the letter B, apparently. Um, but it is something that I cook frequently now, pre-SHTF, and I've learned uh, some of the, uh, cutting the, some of the corners on, on making them, uh, one thing. I don't usually do the soaks and the changes of water. Now, there is one bean out there. It's a red something or other bean. It's not one that I personally eat um, that does have a little bit of a toxin, I guess, if you, uh, if you don't soak them ahead of time. But I have some pinto beans and black beans in here, and those aren't any problem if you just throw them in and start cooking them right away without any of the water changes or anything. So I've been cooking that, and it's been simmering all day. And one thing that I think is always important to do when you're cooking with beans or cooking beans is to make sure there's plenty of water. Now I'm just cooking on an electric countertop here um, because the shit hasn't hit the fan and this is more convenient for me. Uh, but uh, in a uh, SHTF environment where the power grid's out, whatever, you know, you might be cooking over a wood stove or over fire. Um, solar ovens, solar ovens are a great way of cooking beans. They're actually, um, and they get around the problem I'm about to talk about, uh, which is if you're cooking over fire, a lot of times the beans will burn to the bottom of the pan. It'll get too hot, unless you have plenty of water in there, um, which is why I always put in plenty of water. But the downside of putting plenty of water in there um, to avoid potentially burning your beans, because burning your beans sucks, because it, it sticks to the bottom, you waste all that food, which in an SHTF situation is even worse, and it, the, the burn taste gets up into the rest of the beans. Um, uh, so you want to avoid that. Uh, so I put in plenty of water. But like I was uh, getting at the, uh, or getting up to the, Having plenty of water in there uh, causes a problem. Sometimes when you're ready to eat and the beans are all cooked, but there's still extra water in there. So I've come up with a workaround, which is refried bean mix. Just a little powder thing here. And I, I, I buy this bulk and I store it. Uh, you know, it stores great because it's just dry. And just take a little bit of this and I'm just going to put it in a tiny bit because I've actually been putting it in uh, for the past five minutes or so. But you just sprinkle a little bit of this into your beans and that will soak up the water. I mean, that was just a tiny little bit. You'll have to, you know, kind of experiment with it yourself. But within five minutes or so, that is going to soak up all the water and voila, I've also added some extra taste to it. Um, so you're able to cook the beans in a safe fashion where you're not risking burning them, but then at the end, throw some of this in, soak up all the water, and your, your food is done and ready, and you've added a little extra flavor to it in the, in the process. So give it a try. Uh, if you're uh, thinking about uh, surviving off beans to some degree, you really should be integrating these foods into your diet pre-SHTF, you know, to find out all the ups and downs and ins and outs in them. Uh, and this is one shortcut that you can try. Refried bean dried mix. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.